I'm not supposed to use notes, but I have to just tell a little bit of notes. Um, good evening, Toastmasters. My speech today is going to be uh, explaining how the current financial system is very corrupt and how what is happening in Greece uh, it, it exemplifies that and hopefully will make things change. I'll start by my first personal experience with, with the financial system. I used to work as a stockbroker, and when I was a stockbroker, we were taught to sell and make commissions. We had to churn people's accounts, in other words, buy and sell as much as possible. And we were um, ranked and we made money and were voted to be the best in our in our office, depending on how much commissions we made. We were never, ever asked, how is your customer doing? How well are you managing their money? As a matter of fact, my sales manager was proud and used to brag about the fact that he had lost every all his clients' money. And he made commissions out of it, of course. So at first hand, I know that the financial system is very corrupt, does not care about people, only cares about profits. And another example of that is what's happening with HSBC. Recently, there was a scandal that um, there is a French Snowden who was who divulged all the names and emails of clients of HSBC. HSBC is a Swiss bank, and in those emails, you could see that the bank is actively telling the clients, "Don't worry, your country will not find you and will not be able to tax you on this money." So they are the Swiss banks and the very rich are raising taxes. Meantime, in Spain and in Europe and in Greece, people are suffering with austerity. I know that from personal experience as well because I lived in Spain, I just came recently back, and the, the unemployment was up to 26% among the regular people, and the unemployment among the youth, which is people up to 25, was over 50%. So um, people, as you can imagine, with that great demand of jobs, the salaries are very low also. The salaries are very low, the expenses are about the same as here. And the same thing is happening in Greece. People are getting thrown out of their houses, people are committing suicide, 30% of, of, of the country is in poverty. The reason that they're in poverty is that they, um, in 2009, well, they became part of the European Union even though they weren't really qualified to become part of the European Union. The Goldman Sachs was involved in the deal and they cooked the books for Greece to make it look like they could, could fit in with the European uh, Union as far as their economy. They actually transferred in money that wasn't really supposed to be there. So as a result of Greece being a weaker economy, in, by 2009 they were in debt for $300 billion to the Troika. The Troika is the ECB and the IMF and the European Commission. So they were in debt for $300 billion, so the, the Troika said, oh, we'll help you out, we'll bail you out. So they gave us the, the banks two bailouts for 140 billion each in 2010 and 2012. So now their debt is um, up to 580 billion dollars. Now that help that they gave to Greece did not go to the Greek people. It went directly, 10% of it went to the Greek people and the government, and the rest, 90%, went directly back to JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs and Deutsche Bank. So these bailouts are are helping the banks but hurting the people because as a result, Germany then said, you owe us a lot of money. Uh, how are you gonna pay us back? We want you to cut jobs, cut sanitation, cut uh, education, cut healthcare, lower salaries, fire people, and that's called austerity. So they demanded austerity of the German government to the people, and uh, at the same time, however, they actually allowed them to spend three times what the amount of money that they wanted in austerity, they allowed them to spend three times that money in buying arms from Germany and France. So it's okay if they spend money on buying arms from them, but they have to make the people live worse. So the government at that time went along with it, and now about two weeks ago, a new government was, was voted in because the people got fed up. In Spain as well as Germany, in Greece, people are protesting constantly and very unhappy with what's happening. It's nothing like <laughs> and people there are really suffering. So they voted in a new government. This new government has promised that they will stop the austerity, and they are currently negotiating with the European Troika. Um, so they have promised the people that they will, well, they actually already doubled the minimum wage from 350 euro to 750 euro they, um, monthly. They rehired a bunch of people that had been, uh, that had been, fired. And hopefully they'll do what Iceland did. Iceland in 2008 
was about 350 by 500 million dollars, 350 million euro in debt. And instead of bailing out the banks, they threw out the bankers, put them in jail, and bailed out the people. They lowered their currency, they devalued their currency, and at that time they were 11 percent unemployment. Now they're very healthy. They have three percent unemployment. This is what I put in. So we, I'm hoping that in Greece they'll do something similar, where they're where they'll devalue the currency and um, do whatever is necessary so that the people don't suffer it. And it doesn't matter what the banks really have. To do. The banks, in my opinion, um, now they do have a card up their card up their sleeve because they are the first people that the new part the new government met with right after the, the election was with the Russian finance minister. So they are in and they have connections with the Russians as far as uh, heritage. So they are in connection with the Russians and the Russians are in BRICS. Which with, um, the BRICS uh, Association, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa have a new banking system that they just set up. So if the European, uh, the uh, Troika, does not allow them to get out of their debt without uh, causing more austerity or continued austerity, they have the option of switching to this other alternative financial system and hopefully uh, hopefully, I'm hoping that this will be an example 